When it comes to dining out, fine restaurants can often come with a hefty price tag, but for those willing to indulge, there are establishments that promise a truly exceptional culinary experience. Take, for instance, the upscale restaurant located in San Francisco, where an Australian college student found herself presented with a jaw-dropping bill of $600. If you've ever wondered what kind of gastronomic journey such an expenditure would entail, read on. The culinary destination in question is none other than Cezanne, a French-American restaurant nestled near South Beach Harbor. Cezanne's tasting menu revolves around the availability of seasonal ingredients, ensuring a unique dining experience with each visit. According to the restaurant's website, all of their ingredients are meticulously sourced from a select group of fishermen, hunters, gatherers, ranchers, and farmers. This unwavering commitment to quality is undoubtedly one of the factors that ranks Azen among the most expensive dining establishments in the United States. With such a renowned reputation, Cezanne attracts food enthusiasts from around the world. One such aficionado is an Australian Imgur user known as Hoptail. While on a business trip to San Francisco, she seized the opportunity to dine at Cezanne, explaining, I always make it a point to visit the finest restaurants when I travel. I'm far from wealthy, I'm a college student, but I have a deep appreciation for exceptional food and I save up for these moments. During her visit, she meticulously photographed each course of her epic meal and shared the culinary journey online. Hoptail's season experience unfolded over four hours, accompanied by a heavenly tea. Her tea was adorned with a fragrant bundle containing a medley of herbs, including chamomile, yero, and anise, all sourced directly from Cezanne's own farm. In the realm of tea, it doesn't get much more exquisite than this. Now let's talk about the food. Hoptail's culinary adventure commenced with roasted kelp paired with baby spinach and caviar. Staying true to the restaurant's ethos, the butter used for cooking the kelp came from their very own cow, Bella, the caviar, it was revealed, was an exclusive offering from Cezanne, making this a dish she won't soon recreate back in Australia. She described this particular course as luxuriously buttery and melty. The next dish showcased turbot fish prepared in two distinct ways. Her reaction to the first bite was nothing short of ecstatic. I shed tears knowing that I'd peaked and would never experience better raw fish after this moment. While this might be the most expensive meal you've heard of for Hoptail, it felt like a once-in-a-lifetime culinary journey. Of course, not every course lived up to expectations. The geoduck, for instance, proved disappointingly chewy, with a potent marinade overpowering the flavor of the meat itself. However, given the abundance of courses throughout the evening, one minor setback hardly dampened Hoptail's overall experience. Moving on, her favorite course of the evening was fresh sea urchin served on a bread confit. Clearly unafraid to explore new flavors, she confessed to never having tried sea urchin prior to this meal. Her verdict? So amazingly fresh, and the sauce in the bread was incredible. In the world of fine dining, Cezanne certainly lived up to its reputation as a culinary haven for those seeking extraordinary experiences, even if it came with a hefty price tag. Hoptail's journey at Cezanne was a testament to the idea that sometimes, a dining experience can be worth every penny, offering flavors and memories that last a lifetime. In the realm of tasting menus, the sequence of courses is nearly as crucial as the ingredients themselves. After savoring something particularly rich or intense, a palate cleanser becomes a welcome interlude. In this instance, it arrived in the form of a super fresh, and tart dish crafted from radishes, utilizing every facet of this humble root vegetable across various components. For those accustomed to roasted pumpkin served in a single fashion, prepare to be astounded. Saison, however, presented it in three distinct ways. The first incarnation resembled tofu and featured delicate morsels of octopus. The second showcased the restaurant's dedication to wood fire cooking, subjecting the pumpkin to an eight hour roast. Regrettably, the third variation, a pumpkin puree infused with pumpkin seed oil, failed to impress Hoptail. She found it to be an overly salty addition, feeling unsure about how to approach it. 
The opulent tasting menu then transitioned to a course starring antelope accompanied by an herb salad, stuffed radicchio, and biscuits served with honey butter. Despite the impeccable preparation, which she described as melt in your mouth melt your heart amazing, Hoptail couldn't fully enjoy it. Surprisingly, her childhood memories of the Lion King interfered, as the mention of antelope brought back associations with the film, making it difficult for her to relish the dish. This unexpected sentimentality carried over to the next course, antelope broth with sage leaves. While the dish was undeniably delectable, Hoptail's lingering aversion to antelope led her to eagerly anticipate the subsequent offering. The dessert courses finally arrived, beginning with smoked ice cream, a testament to Saison's dedication to wood-fired flavors, with smoky embers infused into the frozen treat. Accompanied by an array of toppings including peanuts, pine nuts, caca nibs, and walnuts, all crowned with a life-changing salted caramel sauce, this dessert left an indelible impression. But the sweet journey continued. An orange buttermilk creamsicle followed, boasting a velvety texture. However, by this point, Hoptail was feeling rather full, leading her to struggle to finish the course. Responding to criticism from readers who perceived the portions as small given the price, she humorously remarked, the portions are bigger than you think. I was swollen up with a food baby that looked like I herniated something. As her Imgur post gained traction, some users critiqued her spending choices, prompting Hoptail to defend her culinary indulgence by emphasizing personal preferences and freedom of choice. The meal culminated with Saison's rendition of a Snickers bar, a brownie base crowned with chocolate ganache, salted caramel, and a sprinkle of 24 karat gold a fitting conclusion to an extravagant dining experience. After completing her meal, the restaurant staff presented Hoptail with a goodie bag brimming with treats, including a wax-sealed menu. She concluded that the experience was worth the investment, praising the exceptional staff. Following this lavish adventure, Hoptail abstained from eating for a full 24 hours. While such an indulgence may not resonate with everyone as a $600 value, it undeniably satisfied the culinary explorer in her.